What's that, Vinny? Chocolate. Hey, Vinny, today on It's Alive, we're gonna be doing chocolate. Maybe they know it's fermented, but it is. We're over here in Ecuador. We came here with Qatar Chocolate. They brought us to some of the farms they work with. We got a little two-part series for you. We're gonna be starting here at the farms with these pods, and we're gonna finish in San Francisco, making finished chocolate bar. So uh, let's get fermenting, huh, Vinny? Chickens, can you, can you keep it down? Do you guys mind at all? Well, you look like a bunch of pack of velociraptors. I hate chickens, Vinny. No, I love chickens. Hey, Vinny, we made it to Ecuador, making chocolate. Don't get any better than that, bud. All right, guys, so uh, we're here on Jimmy. Jimmy, Jimmy, Jimmy. It's Jimmy's farm. Today he's kind enough to show us around and he's gonna show us how he harvests. He's got this pretty cool bamboo stick and he's got this custom little blade put on here, sharpened up and that's for getting the high fruit. So Jimmy's gonna show me how to do that and then we're gonna open them up and start getting this chocolate process going, right Jimmy? Si, yes. All right, I'm gonna go for this one, all right? Si, todas esas, todas las que están amarillas. That bad boy's gonna fall right here, boom, boom. Ready? Duro. Eso. Ah! <laughs> Dos? Dos. Eso. Yeah, get them. There's always dogs. Everywhere we go, there's always dogs, Vinny. And a man on a horse. Oh, sorry. Lo siento. Para atrás, así también. Por eso tiene este, este gancho aquí. Este, este, este que va así. Ahí. Oh, nice. Oh, sharp yes. on the inside. Claro, eso. Ah. Yes. Oh, Jesus. No se ría, no se ría. It's not easy, Ben. Those are good. They're not ready. Jimmy said those ones aren't ready. <laughs> now that we, we, we collected all the pods, we're going to go open them up with a machete and get the beans out and then start the fermentation process. Ah. No coca pod goes to waste, Vinny. Oh. Look at our day's work here, Vinny. Add this to the pile, bud. We have the lovely Dunya. She's gonna show me how they open the pods and extract the, the seeds. And that's basura. That's it. I'm gonna try to open this up too myself. Here's the 10 fingers, Vinny. Well, Dunya made it look Real easy. We'd be here all day if I had to do this. Oh, it's slimy. It kind of, it's like an alien egg. This is dangerous. Hold on, one more. I'll put that, I'll come back to that one. No, no. Oh yeah, I need to have another demonstration. También, mire, puede serle así. Ah. Well, that was easier. <laughs> it's important to take that little stem out, the internal stem there. All right, I'll give it another go. Well, that wasn't too bad, huh? Oh, good God. Hey, forget the chocolate. Look at that little guy. <laughs> All right, one more, yeah? So, Vinny, this is an unripe pod. As you can see, you can't get the beans out. Oh God. Ripe pod, unripe. So this is the seeds that are inside the pod. And then from there, they go into fermentation. All right, Vinny. Oh God. Little light chocolate. There's all those chocolate seeds we got. So now, now Vinny, come on up here, babe. Look at me. Now what we're going to do, we're going to start the, the fermentation and the turning process. There's three different boxes of fermentation. When you turn it, the hell was that, Vinny? You hungry? <laughs> Vinny, over here, it ain't dinner time. It's ain't animal planet, Vinny, let's go. So back to what I was saying there, nature boy. When we say turning, it's just dropping it from the first box, which is up high, down to the second. That's a turn. Don't worry, Vinny, I'll get the bucket. Hola, Jimmy. Hola. Usually the first fermentation is about a day, the second about two days, and the first about another day before we go to the dryer. Ready? Para arriba. Acá. 
you can see that the, the pulp already started to break down and that's the fermentation starting to happen. How do we make this move? I just do it with my hands? Si. Si? <laughs> si. Okay. Just... No, 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 no. It was hot. Caliente. Si, caliente, caliente. You put your hand in there, Vin, it is, I mean, it's probably 110 degrees. So we're just going to drop these down in there now. Oh yeah, that kind of feels weird. It's almost in the center. It's almost too hot to touch. It even has a mild alcohol smell. I'm sure there is some alcohol being produced. It's almost like if you smell a bottle of rubbing alcohol, I don't know if you've ever done that, but it kind of burns your whole uh, respiratory tract. And that's kind of what's happening right now. I'm kind of getting drunk on vapors here. To the next bin, Vinny. Now, if you were to rush or change, is this, you, know, you have it set up very particular. If you were to change that, how would that affect the cocoa? Sí, lo que pasa es que cuando no se le hace la misma fermentación, por ejemplo, que hacemos una fermentación de tres días, el cacao ya no va a quedar así, queda un poco, un poco amargo, como un poco ácido. Pero si nosotros lo, lo, lo fermentamos y lo llevamos a la marquesina y lo secamos con secado completo, ya el cacao queda otro sabor, ya queda, queda dulce. No, no dulce, dulce, pero, pero ya no queda amargo. So they have, they have these, it's a very crucial step and very, you know, that they nail this fermentation process. The box is made out of wood just from the farm here. The reason why they're this big is so that you can get a certain mass of seed because you got to get it up to a certain temperature before the pulp starts to break down and everything and you get a complete fermentation. And in the bottom, there's a bunch of holes. And as the pulp starts to ferment, it breaks down into a liquid, liquid and drains out. So we're gonna go ahead and empty this box into here. So then we're gonna take the cocoa beans that we just harvested and dump them back into here to start this fermentation. All right, about 75 more buckets and we'll be ready. Yeah, we're flattening this out and then we're gonna cover it up with those banana leaves, all those microorganisms, all that fermentation, all that life, all that science is gonna take place. And uh, once that's done, oh God, the alcohol is burning my nose, Vinny. We're gonna head into the solar the solar dryers. Okay, so it's just stuff that's in the atmosphere. Oh, oh butterfly, Vinny. Oh, oh no, 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 scared. You ruined it. I got Jimmy here with me. We're gonna head in. This is his solar dryer. So it's pretty much just kind of like a greenhouse where they use the sun to dry the beans. Jimmy, after you. Oh, Vinny. Hey, buddy. So Jimmy, why is it important to, to dry the beans? Yeah, aquí lo importante es se seca aquí para que no se sobre fermente. Y el, el cacao en la secada siga siendo el sabor lo más natural posible. So when we dry these beans, it actually is a crucial part of the development of the flavor. By pulling them from the fermentation boxes at the right time, it, it stops the fermentation so it won't over ferment and that which would essentially be rotten. Is there a reason why you use a solar dryer compared to, you know, some kind of electric or gas or mechanical dryer? La madera le da otro sabor, eh, digamos, no, no es como el, en la secadora. Sabemos que en la secadora viene algo de, de químico con lo que trae el gas y todo eso. Ah, uh, sí, so got this pretty, uh, pretty badass rake. What are we, uh, what are we doing with that rake? Aquí como estamos ya en el proceso del secado, entonces lo que hacemos es para, para revolver el cacao. After they come from the fermentation, they sit out here. They can't just sit there one time. You got to move them around and make sure that it dries evenly. Let me get in on that rake, Jimmy. I just want you all to remember what it takes. Next time you bite into your, uh, your chocolate bar. And then the next step, we want to fill a bag and bring them to the co-op. But I tell you what, I wish you guys could smell it in here. I mean, it's just the unbelievable fragrance of, of, of cacao. Oh. oh, Vinny, don't worry, I got it. Whew. So we're gonna throw these on the old donkey, thank God, and uh, head over to the co-op. Donkey, 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 donkey. Hay que ver si no se mueve. Tranquilo, que va a salir en cámara. Vamos a dar un paseo burrito. I thought I was going to ride the donkey. Bye bye, donkey. Hey guys, now we're at the co op where beans are received. They get weighed, cleaned, rebagged, and then sent off to their final destination. Our cacao beans will be going to San Francisco to the Guitard factory. That's another episode, so let's get started on this process. <laughs> If I had a guess, I'm gonna say uh, 50 kilos. No. Onto the scale, ready? 66.4. So what's that? That's all, it's 100 and, oh, I can't do math. 130 pounds. It's pretty heavy, man. These guys are no joke. Now they got the weight, we're gonna drop them into the, uh, the cleaner. So what it is, it's a, it's a mechanical machine that just kind of shakes and separates the small particles from the large particles, right? And keeps the bean.
All right, Vinny, nice and clean, sorted by size, beautiful beans. And uh, now we're just gonna, you know, tag them up, put them on a boat, send them to old San, Fran San Francisco, and then uh, there we'll make some chocolate, huh? Eh? It's amazing the amount of work that goes into cacao farming way before chocolate is even in the picture. Uh, there's a lot more that goes into chocolate than what we were able to show you, you know, from pruning trees to setting up nurseries, educational programs, teaching the next generation how to carry on this trade. These practices are making the environment better, making chocolate better. Super grateful to being able to have seen that. Around the world, they're doing this many different ways. Thank you to the farmers in Ecuador, Jimmy and his family for showing us their way. It's just really fascinating, the amount of work that goes into such a, what seems like such a simple product. All right guys, that's the end of part one here in Ecuador. These beans here are ready to go. We're gonna send them off to San Francisco. We're gonna meet up at the Guitar factory for part two. We're gonna make some finished chocolate product. So uh, me and Vinny, we got a plane to catch. See you guys in San Francisco. Bon appetit. Ah! Oh, it's just a honeybee, bud. These are our buddies. Pew! Should I pretend to pull? <laughs> you ready? Hey Vinny, today on It's Alive. Cacao pods, Vinny. Hey guys. All right, hey guys, uh, the f is that? Oh, hey guys, uh, no, so, do I introduce It's Alive? No, do I do that usually? I'm, I'm blanking out. Oh, the puppy! Vinny, cut chocolate, no chocolate. Oh, perro. Is you? Hey, Vinny. Como te llamo? They say. Oh, jeez, how are we supposed to make chocolate with all this cuteness? <laughs> Is two perro? Sí. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Here we go. Four hits. That's it on this one. Shit. Este video ha sido el más corto que se ha dado en la vida este burro. <laughs>